look at how wild this is it's at a time using 50 browser to actually do a task welcome to soft review in this video we are going to look at manus this is like an ai agent and it's really powerful and it can do a lot of things if you are new to this think of this as openai's deep search combined with the operator then computer use then bolt.diy plus memory so that's what this is this is going to take a lot of jobs and as you can see it can do research it can do like analysis it can be used for educational content productivity these are all somebody's jobs and this software is single-handedly going to take it away this is the true agi moment and i don't know what openai is going to do with their agents and they were like planning to charge like twenty thousand dollars per month for their high level AI agents while they these guys are even planning to actually open source some of their models in the future and take a look at this benchmark guys the open ai's deep research is 74 and this is like 86.5 and if you don't know what this benchmark is, GAIA benchmark is designed to actually evaluate the capabilities of general AI assistants by assessing their ability to perform real world tasks. It focuses on fundamental skills such as reasoning, modality handling, web browsing and tool use proficiency. So that's what this benchmark is for and it's like scoring like really high there as well. So a lot of people are having a lot of use cases they are building tools they are doing research and now let's take a look at what this can do for you on their introductory video and how we can use this as well for our use case hi i'm Pete from manus ai for the past year we've been quietly building what we believe is the next evolution in ai and today we're launching an early preview of manus the first general AI agent. This isn't just another chatbot or workflow. It's a truly autonomous agent that bridges the gap between conception and execution. While other AI stops at generating ideas, Manus delivers results. We see it as the next paradigm of human-machine collaboration, and potentially a glimpse into AGI. Now let me show you Manus in action across three completely different tasks. Let's start with an easy one. In this example, we'll ask Manus to help screen resumes. I've just sent Manus a zip file containing 10 resume documents. Since each Manus session has its own computer, it can work like a human. First unzipping the file, then browsing through each resume page by page, and recording important information to documents. Manus works asynchronously in the file, which means you can close your laptop anytime, and Manus will notify you when everything is complete. Of course, you can also give Manus new instructions at any time. Here I've sent Manus five more resumes. After carefully reading all 15 resumes, Menis provides its ranking suggestions along with candidate profiles and evaluation criteria as supporting materials. This is pretty good, but I prefer a spreadsheet. Let's have Menis create one. Menis has its own knowledge and memory, so it can teach Menis that the next time it handles a similar task, it will deliver a spreadsheet right away. In this example, we'll have Menis conduct some research. It needs to filter New York properties based on multiple criteria. For complex tasks, Manus first breaks them down and creates a to-do list. Manus begins by searching and carefully reading articles about the safest neighborhoods. Then Manus researches middle schools in New York. Next, Manus writes a Python program to calculate my budget. Based on my budget, Manus filters listings on real estate websites. Finally, combining all the information gathered, Manus writes a detailed report and compiles all the resources. In this example, we have Manus perform a correlation analysis between stocks. For professional data, Manus can access authoritative data sources through APIs. After validating the required data, Manus begins writing code for data analysis and visualization. For Manus, Coding isn't necessarily the goal, but rather a universal tool for solving problems. It looks like Manus has completed the data analysis and visualization. 
But interactive data visualization is even cooler. So I asked Manus to create a website based on these data. With my permission, Manus deploys the finished website online and provides me with a shareable link. Let's see what Manus has created. What you've just seen is just a small sample of what Manus can do. In fact, on benchmark designed to evaluate general AI assistance, an early checkpoint of Manus has already achieved state-of-the-art performance, and it's only getting better. Beyond benchmarks, Manus has been solving real-world problems on platforms like Upwork and Fiverr, and has proven its capabilities on Kaggle competitions. This wouldn't be possible without the amazing open source community, which is why we're committed to giving back. Manus operates as a multi-agent system powered by several distinct models. So later this year, we're going to open source some of these models specifically post-trained for Manus, inviting everyone to explore this agentic future together. The name Manus comes from the famous motto, Mens at Manus, Mind and Hand. It embodies the belief that knowledge must be applied to make a meaningful impact on the world. And this is precisely the promise of Manus AI, to extend your capabilities, amplify your impact, and be the hand that brings your mind's vision into reality. We can't wait to see what you will achieve with Manus. So if you want to use this, if you just click on get started, it's based on invite. So you need to have an invitation code to get started. If you click on apply for access, then you will have to fill a form or join their discord for early access. So I just click here. They already have 9000 users now and it's going to like And they will be sharing their invite codes here. They only have five invite code and yeah, it's all used up. Join their discord if you want to actually get into this. And if you want to fill out the form, it will look like this. Let me just open it in a new private window. You need to send in your email and write in how, how you are planning to use this, then submit a request and hopefully you can get access i hope this video was helpful if you want me to create more videos like this please don't forget to share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching have a great day Reviews your future gleam.